these students who do not pass the item three and so those would be happening in June and then our um, SAE program that we typically do in the summer and um, Odyssey Wear, which is like a credit recovery type thing, and then our um, summer band would be our high school programming that we would be offering. Any, any questions? Any discussion? Any motion? Mr. President, I would like to make a motion to um, have the 2019 summer school offerings contingent on enrollment of all five of those. Second. <laughs> I have a motion. <laughs> have, have a motion and a second to approve item A under new business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Item B, consider proposed proposed general liability <laughs> linebacker autom automobile inland marine <clears throat> data compromise property workers comp umbrella insurance a patriot insurance effective april 6 2019 through april 6 2020. and i provided for you in your packet the quote from um, patriot insurance and i kind of did a side-by-side -side comparison last year's rates versus this year's rates so that um, we can have a feel for what we were looking for in increases. They were minimal increases, I felt, approximately $1,500 total increase. Um, when you're looking at a $71,000 premium, I think that's a, you know, a very good uh, low increase. And Workers' comp is, you know, we don't know what that's going to come in at. That's always. And, and hadn't it been staying pretty pretty much the same the last two or three years? If we've prior, had so we've I mean, had either no or well, no I, I, I thought it's been you know, yeah. We, we had In fact, I, I think it while. was actually last year we actually had a decrease. Okay, that's what I thought we had. A so <laughs> the first year I came on the board, we had insurance for another company, and we had Ryan come in. He was right around fifty thousand dollars, which that was in before. The other company was 95. Oh my. So we're not, after all these years, he's still not at that cost. Yeah. That other company was 2004 or so. And Ryan's done a good job for us. And we've shopped it. You know, we we didn't, we haven't put out um, bids for the past couple of years, but we've, um, every three or four years, you know, we've bid the insurance packet and uh, Ryan has consistently, you know, come in as the low bid. Did so. we go through that Indiana thing one? The they, S craft. Yeah, they were a lot more expensive even than Ryan. So, mm -hmm. like I say, Ryan's, I think he's always counting on the spot of that situation. So, if there's no further discussion, we have a motion. Mr. President, I move to uh, approve uh, item number B on the agenda. I have a motion and a second to approve item B under new business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5 0. <coughs> item C, consider use of facility request for Fulton County RMC for an annual meeting held June 24, 2019. Since there are no other shoes, they're now. Looks like we should. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we only charge $100. <laughs> Our, they actually two years ago did their annual meeting at Caston for the first time and they had a great turnout and really it's good for our school corporation we have a lot of people that come in for that that normally would not be coming to Caston for other reasons and um, this year we will get to open our new cafeteria to them the last time we were in construction so we weren't able to um, offer the cafeteria they'll be using both the cafeteria and the gym for that event and it's in the summer I move that we let the Fulton County REMC use the building on June 24, 2019. And I'll second that. I have a motion and a second to approve item C under new business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Item D, consider permission to advertise for the following positions uh, speech and hearing, elementary special education teacher for moderate disabilities. 
junior senior high science teacher, junior senior high school assistant principal and athletic director. Um, the, the special education positions are as a result of our um, deep, our Legesi uh, cooperative dissolving. So uh, we knew we were going to have to hire a speech person all along, but it's been as we progressed with our planning, um, each of the three schools, each of the three smaller schools, uh, Cast and Pioneer and Winnemac will be housing one program in their building. So those of us, wh whoever is housing the program is responsible responsible for hiring the teacher and the staffing for that program, but the cost will be shared amongst the three school corporations. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Motion. Mr. President, I move to approve to advertise for the following positions, speech, hearing, clinical, elementary special education teacher for moderate disabilities, classroom junior senior high school science teacher and junior senior high school assistant principal of life. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve item D under other business or under new business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? <coughs> motion carries by the Item E, consider change to school calendar calendar April 22, 2019, used as a makeup day rather than a vacation day. This would be the Monday after Easter. We originally had a four-day weekend, and we would still have a three-day weekend. We would still have Good Friday off, but we have one of our snow days that we missed that we did not do an e-learning day because we had four consecutive days, and we just felt like that was too many consecutive days. And so um, looking at making this up as a regular school day where uh, we have face-to-face -face time with the kids, and um, that way our the rest of our staff, our bus drivers and our, all of our hourly staff can report to work that day and um, so it does and yeah this is something we have you live and you learn I mean we've been doing our e-learning days for four going on four years now but um, it's the first year we've had multiple days out and we really did not build days into our calendar because of doing e-learning, but next year we probably will go ahead and build in a couple PMU days in case we have this situation again. Hopefully we wouldn't, but then we wouldn't have to go back and you know revise our calendar. Do we, do we feel like the three would be the max e-learning days in a row? Is that something that could be increased as far as the number? I don't believe There's no... Um, I guess I There's can. no regulations. Okay. If that's that's, a, a, that's a local decision as to how okay. we do that. So, um, you know, some schools have limited less than three. Some have no limits on consecutive days. And, you know, it's probably the kind of thing that I think a lot of it is the timing of the days. You know, maybe we need to have flexibility in our plan or we can make those decisions as they come along. Um, you know, if we have, for instance, prior to I-STEP testing or just like, our days kind of all fell in a pretty tight window there where the kids had missed a lot of classroom time. But if it were spread out a little bit more throughout the year, we might not be as concerned about it. So yeah, I guess that was my question more than anything if something's regulated by the state or not. It's not. Okay. No, that's those are local decisions as to how you want to have a, a you know, your policies and procedures for e learning. Discussion? Yeah, motion. Mr. President, I would like to make a change to the school calendar um, for April 22nd, 2019, and use this makeup day rather than vacation day. And I'll second. I have a motion and a second to approve item E under new business. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Item F, approval for cancellation of five checks issued by the Caston School Corporation that are outstanding two plus years for a total of $78.70. Mr. President, I move to approve item F for cancellation of five checks issued by the Caston School Corporation that are outstanding two plus years for a total of $78.70. Mr. President, I move to approve item F for cancellation of five checks issued by the Caston School Corporation that are outstanding two plus years for a total of $78.70. 
did you even hear? So, <coughs> this is something we're required by law to do that we're not to carry checks more than two years on our books that have not been um, cashed. So, Mr. President, I move that we cancel uh, five checks that's been outstanding for over two years without being cashed. No, I have a motion and a second to approve item F under new business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries by Other business. Item one, consider a request for the drama club to practice the final dress rehearsal Wednesday, April 24th, beyond 6 p.m. Shelly Sarver has issued this request. They do get started right after school as soon as they can, but that particular, um, they do it on Wednesday because that's the one day that a lot of the kids aren't pulled other directions for track meets or those kinds of things. And um, the newspaper comes at night and takes pictures and they rarely can get that wrapped up by six. So she just wanted to make sure that the board was aware of that and that that wasn't gonna be an issue. Anybody have any discussion questions? Or a motion. Mr. President, I move to approve the request from the Drama Club to practice our final, final dress rehearsal on Wednesday, April 24th, at 6 p.m. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve item one and our other business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Item two, consent of professional meeting request for Dennis Seif and Nicole Monocle to attend the Harmony Users Conference April 8th through the 10th at Frank Select Conference Center. Okay, you want to go? One that much step so much good. So they got country and that's all So um Harmony is our, our school management system and both um Denny and Nicole are fairly new in their positions and um that is a program that's pretty important for them to have a really good handle on the various functions and any changes that are coming down the pipe, that type of thing. And they do some good training sessions as well. Have a motion, Mr. President. I move that, that we uh, allow the site and the full chronicle to attend the Army Users Conference in April 8th to the 10th at the French Lake Conference. I'll second that. A motion and a second to approve item two under other business. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries by zero. Reports and information. Uh, principal's reports. Hi. I'm ready to go back on vacation. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were slept. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just, you'll get all the scoop tonight, <laughs> apparently. But another good trip. Appreciate you uh, allowing us to um, take the seniors on that trip, and it's a good time for them. Good time for me to get to know them. See, I didn't say good time for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, another great year, another great weather. We left here today, Sunday. It was snowing, 30 degrees. Got down there, 65 and sunny. We had sun all three days, mid 50s. So uh, it was a uh, Great trip, another great trip. So, <coughs> thanks, appreciate it. We, uh, I just feel like we got a lot of kids doing great things right now. Was real pleased with the amount of kids raised at the uh, Dub for, for Heart, and um, very proud of the robotics team. Um, Roger and I talked a little bit before the uh, state event, and he thought maybe one of our teams would go through, uh, but you know that always waits to be seen. They've done really well all day and got into the final round and didn't have a good run, uh, and that, that can happen. Um, but uh, the year that we were able to take all of our teams to the Worlds, um, there were about 500 teams in the state, and now there are about 1,500. So the competition is pretty stiff, and for our kids even to make the state, uh, the finals in the state, at the state level, was a, a real accomplishment. Um, so. I just see great things ahead for that program as it continues to grow and um, uh, we get more and more kids interested every year. So just real happy with all that. Oh yes, Gage Thomas uh, won the um, area, uh, Fulton County um, 
American Legion essay contest, and uh, he also then won the regional contest, and he will be recognized on April 24th at a meeting at the Fulton County or Rochester uh, American Legion. So real, uh, real impressed with that as well. That's that's not an easy thing to do to win the, the regional one. So. We also had Adelaide Galtieri uh, represent Kasten at the area of spelling bee um, in the last couple weeks. He uh, did not uh, did not go very far, but um, it's still an accomplishment. And this is the first year we've gone without a sixth grade team. So we had a, you know fourth and fifth graders competing, and uh, our own competition here in the building lasted about 30 minutes. And uh, we uh, so Adelaide did a nice job representing us and was uh, just a real nice, responsible kid, and it, it was good to see him there. Um, it's testing time, I guess is what I can say. Um, kids are, their grades in the middle by read right now, and I guess I want to compliment the teachers. This is the first time that we've tested on our iPads. We have the new keyboards this year, and that's been going well. And I think there was some apprehension of how that would go, so. We plan on doing iLearn, the new iStep on the iPads too, and so this is kind of our test run. So everybody's doing a good job. Um, things went smoothly while Chuck was gone, so that was nice. I guess he took a little filmmakers out of the building. Uh, <laughs> continuing to monitor our seniors, you know, making sure that they're not falling behind cracks. Very well sums it up, I'd say, right now. Public comment. Board comment. <laughs> Next meeting will be April 17th at 630 in this room. And then we'll have an executive session to follow, which will be the gentleman that was going to be here tonight. Correct. So. And that's probably not going to be able to get underway much before 8 o'clock. It's okay. going to be coming from another meeting. So. Okay. Uh, we'll take a little break. Right, right. Run laps around the building. Walk laps. Watch the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, Pop. Huh? Like this. Right. You're not going to have to ask me twice. I'm halfway there. Yeah. Discussion. I have a motion to adjourn. Mr. President, I make a motion to adjourn. And I'll second that. I have a motion to second to adjourn. All in favor? All opposed. Please adjourn.